It's Ariana Grande versus a popular drag queen in this fight over who wore it better. Or actually, this is more like stole my look. What's up, y'all? It's Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News. And you remember a few days ago when I told you that Ariana was suing Forever 21 for using her image and likeness? Well, Farrah Moan is now accusing Ari of doing the same thing. So Farrah is a drag queen from season nine of RuPaul's Drag Race, and she made a public statement that Ariana copied one of her looks from this past season of All Stars. Ooh, the tea. She said on Twitter, Ariana should give me a cut of that 10 million since her team literally sent a pic of me to the designer and paid them to copy my look from AS4. Okay, so that look in question is the one that Ari wore in her Seven Rings video. And it is one of Farrah's signature looks. That and, oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Farrah continued her statement by saying, I guess stealing from queer artists for profit is fine though. She doubled down on her claims in a series of tweets following this where she explains that she met Ariana's designer, a local drag queen, who was given a photo of Farrah and told to copy her look directly. Farrah said, I don't fault the designer because the designer she hired was a local queen and paid them a lot of money to do it, money they couldn't turn down, and then was honest with me about it. So no, I don't fault the drag queen that made it all. Ariana has coin. Okay, so some people argued that the looks aren't even exactly the same, and Farrah was quick to point out that the only thing missing was some chandelier crystals on her hips because Ariana couldn't have laid down on the counter with the amount of detailing mine had. Now, of course, the Seven Rings video came out months ago, so why bring it up now? Well, Farrah had an answer for that too. She said, I wasn't gonna even say anything or care because I was actually flattered by it, and I've known for months, but now it's kind of getting to me since she's just racking in millions over it. She's referring to that $10 million lawsuit that Ariana recently filed against Forever 21. And after posting this gift making fun of Seven Rings, she said, the main people at fault here are her team. If that queen didn't recreate it, they would have found someone who would. When your team makes a mistake, it falls on you. You can attack me all day, but it's not gonna change anything. I don't care about suing anyone, just needed to put this out there. And again, Ari's fans pointed out a bodysuit that Ariana wore in 2014 that looks sort of similar to the ones that Farrah wears. Which true, neither of them invented bodysuits, but if it's true that her team showed the designer a picture of Farrah, even if Ari was unaware at the time, I still think they're a little at fault here. So honestly, there's only one way to settle this. Ari, you have to have Pheromone in your next music video. It'll be good press for the both of you. Meanwhile, Ariana's brother Frankie Grande has chimed in. He spoke with ET at a red carpet last night and when asked about Ariana dealing with all of this drama, he said, listen, there's always drama and it's just whether or not you're going to dial into that particular element or whether you're gonna stay above it and like rise above it and just like, you know, reign supreme. And that's what I feel like she's doing. Well, we know how he feels about the situation, but now it's time for you to chime in. Do you think that Ari's team stole Farrah's look or is it just a coincidence? Would a local designer put their name on the line if they weren't absolutely certain? Let me know in the comment section below. Then guys, make sure you subscribe to Clever News to get all the latest news updates. We'll let you know if Ari makes a statement about this because so far her team has been quiet, but thanks so much for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. and I'll see you soon.